Hey guys, Pixel here. So, a few days ago, Microsoft has released an update to the Microsoft Edge browser on Xbox. Previously, it was running on the Edge engine, however, now it's running on the Chromium engine. And in this video, I'm going to show off some of the cool things that I can do now with this new Microsoft Edge version. Okay, so the first thing that I want to try out is Discord, because, my god, I really wish that Discord was on, you know, PS5 and on uh, Xbox, just because, you know, games are cross-platform now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to call Steve Palmer, <laughs> and I'm going to show you guys that it really does actually work. So, as you can see, I've got my um, headset plugged in while it's earphones, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to speak into the earphones, and hopefully you should hear it coming out of my phone. There's a big delay, big isn't there? Delay. Yeah, there is. But you can, but hear, you me. can hear me. See? It works. It works. Alright, that's fantastic. The problem is... Oops, sorry. As soon as I go into a game, let's see if I have something in quick resume I do. Now that I'm trying to speak, as you can hear, yeah, it's gone. It's completely gone. Um, Edge doesn't stay up in background. As soon as I reopen it, though, you can hear me. It works, but not in game. But it works, which is still really cool. Now, the second thing I want to try out is Parsec, and again, I'm going to need uh, to use my camera for this, so excuse, kind of, this 2012 YouTube style. And the main problem is, as you can see, I have no cursor. I have to look on my laptop to see where my cursor is at. This is really irritating. <laughs> you know, it's kind of cool being able to play games on Xbox that you wouldn't be able to normally. Now, you can see there's a massive lag. Um, this is just a Parsec thing. I've used Parsec a year ago um, for game development. I used to use maximum settings and I used to uh, rent our computer. It was a um, it was a 1080 Ti with a Ryzen processor. And for desktop use, Parsec was fantastic. But for gaming, it will you will see what it's like. It doesn't matter what. And I was running this on a MacBook. I wasn't running this on a Chewy laptop. Literally, every single variable was different. Yet the result was the same. If you look on your left. Well, I mean, I know it's a bit dark, but you can see it's, it's running pretty smooth, right? But then you see on the top, yeah, it's very noticeable. That's just a Parsec thing, though. If you can find a better, um, you know, service for game streaming, then it'll run much better. Stadia would probably be a good shout. GeForce now blocks Edge for some reason, so, yeah, GeForce doesn't work. In fact, I could probably go into Steam's big picture mode. Oh. Actually, yeah, that, that makes the fact that you can't see the mouse, that makes it so much easier, because now, yeah, I'm, I'm able to control it with the, with the controller, which is so cool. <laughs> sure, it will show up as, yeah, Xbox 360 for Windows. So, yeah, that's extremely cool. Anyway, I think for now, let's um, switch into direct capture mode, and let's uh, show you guys some other stuff that I can do with Edge. Okay, so, I don't know if you guys know about itch.io, but itch.io actually has some HTML5 games that you can play. Let's load it up right now. And I've played quite a few of these um, yesterday, and you know what? Some of them are really damn good. I think this was one of the ones I've played, so let's have a try of this. And it's just unbelievable, the fact that you can just... Play a proper, like, look, this is a proper 3D game. It's got, like, um, obviously, like, a PS1 aesthetic. It's definitely, like, some sort of a horror game. I haven't actually played enough of it to know kind of what happens. I've only played a few, like, a minute of it. But just look, it looks, the game looks great. And it runs at 60 FPS. And it's running inside of a browser. And these work with a controller because I've tried. Yep, as you can hear, this works with a controller. Playminigames.ru. And so here's DOSBox. And as you can see, this loaded quite quick because I've already played this multiple times, so it's already in memory. Now we are running Windows 95 on my Xbox. How freaking cool is that? And it gets even cooler. I don't know if you know it's what sort of a game we're going to be playing specifically, but it's 3D pinball on Xbox. Um, now you can even get this to run with a controller. Listen. Now, the only problem is, uh, once you play it for a while, the game slows down, and I've even had it slow down so much that the physics stopped working and my uh, ball clipped straight through the uh, the plunger. Not the plunger, the flipper, sorry. Yeah, so, it's good for a, for a short game, but it's, it seems to slow down as you play it more and more. <laughs> 